Hello, and happy holidays from SP Woodard. So my local wood turning club that is also a chapter of AAW is having a Christmas tree challenge and uh, we're supposed to make uh, a Christmas tree uh, 12 inches or less and I've never made a Christmas tree so I'm gonna make one today and see how it goes. So I hope you stick with me to the very end and enjoy the show. Thank you. I started by knocking off the corners of this piece of spalted ash, which is really beautiful. And it came from a firewood pile that I had, and the moisture content is okay. It's just below 10, which is reasonable. original profile was going to be, or I intended to be, a square base with a regular tree trunk and your traditional tapered tree and a star topper. However, these coves and this uh, topper that I originally had made, all from one piece of that spalted wood, sadly had some issues. So I cut my losses and I went with a scrap piece of segmented wood I had laying in the shop and it is made from walnut, paduke, and hard maple. And this is a, not a spindle piece. Each of the wood grains are going in different directions. So I'm going to use a bowl gouge or a carbide.
skew left a really nice finish and I was able to start sanding at 220 grit and went to 600 grit. And considering there's end grain showing on this piece, I was very impressed of how smooth it came out. Next, I'm going to complete some wire burning on the lines to make it a little bit more pronounced and give them some depth. And make sure that you use handles on your wires for safety. And I didn't show it, but I used a 600 grit sandpaper after this to uh, clean up any frayed edges. Since this isn't going to get a lot of handling, it's just going to pretty much sit on a shelf during the holidays, I just put a friction polish on it. And just another note, I poured the friction polish on to get into all the crevices and detailed areas. And with all friction polishes, I next have to buff it with a dry cloth and build up some heat. So I really wanted the star topper on the tree, so I tried to make a topper next and I had some issues again. So after a quick sand and friction polish, I parted the finial off and cleaned up the end of the finial and the top of the tree. And the bottom of the tree. <laughs> Next, I'll just glue with some Flex CA glue the finial on top of the tree. And I also used some accelerator here on one side to speed up the process. So here's a neat little tip on finishing. My kids used to have this toy and the fish are all gone and you could pick these up for about five dollars in a craft store or something and it rotates and it's a great little tool for finishing. You just turn it on and spray uh, and you can even let it go for a while. The battery lasts a long time. But I was really sad that that piece of wood didn't work out. It was such a beautiful piece of spalted wood. I mean, I still have some pieces left. Um, and I can make something out of it. Maybe some pens. And it still has a great pattern left on these pieces that I chopped off. But you win some and you lose some. So despite the several tries that I had, I think it finally came out pretty good. Um, and I would definitely keep trying my hand at it. 
I think turning trees, as you can see, is great practice. Um, we have learned a lot, especially about spalted wood today. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little tree show and stay safe in your shop at all times. Happy holidays to everyone and a happy new year and take care.